And to Nigeria now, where a Supreme Court justice has been charged with money laundering and immigration offences. Sylvester Nguta is one of seven judges arrested last month during a nationwide sting operation. It is part of President Muhammadu Buhari's campaign to stamp out corruption in Nigeria. Now, Nguta is accused of laundering over $1.7 million between January and October this year. Prosecutors also allege he has multiple unauthorized passports, including diplomatic travel documents. The 65-year-old has pleaded not guilty to all the charges. He will stand trial in December. The status on the caliber of the defendant in this case is, is indeed very exceptionally unique, and um, uh, we're not surprised that he was granted bail in his own self-recognizance. The matter has been taken out of the realm of uh, prejudice, of... Uh, slander and all the rumors that you normally hear. It's now in a court of law and we have an opportunity to present our case. Well, let's bring you more on this. We're now joined live from Lagos by CCTV's Deji Badmus. Uh, Deji, of course, we've seen a number of high-profile names of Nigerians being implicated or prosecuted in this uh, anti-corruption drive, but certainly quite a shock to some to see the name of Justice uh, Sylvester Ngota uh, being mentioned too. Tell us more about his case. Uh, Lindy, you're absolutely right. It's quite a shock because um, what we're talking about here uh, involves Supreme Court judges. Um, in, in the case of Justice Unguta, he was arrested um, in October of uh, this year in a dawn raid. The uh, DSS, that's the Nigerian Secret Police, the Department of State Services, actually conducted the raid. Um, they stormed his home in Abuja. And um, according to the DSS now, uh, they discovered huge sums of money in different currencies. I'm talking about dollars, pounds, sterling, and, and euros. And then they also discovered um, he had uh, multiple uh, passports, including diplomatic passports. And, and so, um, you know, he was not the only one whose home was stormed. There were seven of them, actually, who had their homes stormed uh, in, in that Don raid across the country, some in Abuja, others in other states of the country. And, of course, they were taking in questioned and um, all this while the DSS had said it was conducting investigation until now that the DSS has decided to arraign uh, him. Now, as I said before, there are seven of them. We still expect that the others will be arraigned. There's still another Supreme Court justice. Uh, I'm talking about Justice Okoro now, who uh, is expected to be arraigned in the coming days. Um, well, the government has now uh, slammed a 16-count charge against uh, Justice Unguta, and uh, as you have been reporting, uh, the case has been adjourned uh, to December uh, the 7th, of course, when trial proper will begin. Mm. Lindy? And of course, uh, Digi, we've never seen anything like this before in Nigeria, such an unprecedented campaign against corruption. What is the impact that it is having so far, firstly, on Buhari's administration, but secondly, on the economy of Nigeria? Uh, if there's one area that a lot of people feel President Buhari has done very well, it's in the area of uh, corruption. He's, I mean, b before he came to power, he said he was going to fight corruption, and I think he's taking that fight head on now. Um, people had always known that there was corruption in the judiciary, but what had been lacking was the political will to take on these um, so-called corrupt judges. Now you have a president who has decided to do it. People, of course, are applauding him. The criticism we have seen against, um, uh, the, you know, the way the government has prosecuted this is based, especially with the judges, is uh, the manner in which uh, the DSS conducted the raid. Uh, some people argue that the DSS ought to have invited the judges and uh, not just storm their homes at midnight. Now, in terms of the impact, uh, I think we're beginning to see some kind of positive impact fact is that the government believes this will restore confidence in the economy and uh, to a large extent that is true because before now uh, everybody had known Nigeria to be uh, some kind of corruption haven. So what the government is trying to do is to clean that corruption image of the country, uh, restore confidence in the economy and ultimately win back investors who or even those who are planning to come invest here and who had been scared uh, of coming here as a result of corruption. Uh, and despite the criticism now, the government has said it is going to forge ahead. It is not going to slow down at all. And to be candid, this president has enormous support at home and abroad. Um, 
A lot of people think he's doing a very good job in terms of corruption. The only area where people have misgivings is in the handling of the economy, Lindy. Mm. All right, Deji Bed was live for us there in Lagos on how Buhari's anti-corruption drive is slowly but surely restoring confidence in the Nigerian economy.